camera is the first one I ever got and used. And this is my Minolta XG1. I think it's from 1979. But <laughs> actually my ex-boyfriend got me this, but I'm still going to use it. I don't really care. Um, this is the camera where my first video that I put up with all my pictures, this, they came from this camera. This, they're all with 400 speed film. But, yeah. I love this camera so much. It takes really clear shots and um, just, I like the heaviness of it too. I don't like cameras when they're real light and you want to do like serious shots I feel like they don't get anything or I don't know. They're just not comfortable for me. But I like something with a lot of heaviness to it. Um, actually, I just kind of bashed on my Diana, which is the next one I have. This is a 35 millimeter camera too. It's a Diana Mini. But yeah, I like this camera because it has a lot of light leaks and takes really funky shots. I got this on Lomography.com, and if you just go to that website and look up the Mini Diana, you could look at uh, examples of shots from the Mini Diana. I had developed one roll, but I haven't scanned any of the pictures yet. And the third 35mm camera I have is my Fujika ST701. My mom gave me this camera because she bought it in like the late 70s and now she never uses it. But I started using this like a month ago. She gave it to me like maybe six months ago and I just started using it because I was so in love with my Minolta. But the shutter kind of is messed up on that now. So now I use this one. But I love this camera. It really captures um, like rich colors and again has a nice heaviness to it. Though I do, I love the Diana. Like how light it is just because I could throw it in my bag and if there's something cool you know, abruptly come into my life, going for a drive to see a field of cows or something, I don't know. But, yeah. I have to say, though, my favorite is the Fujika right now. And also because I got this lens from my friend where it was in her dad's camera bag that he bought from a flea market, and this lens didn't fit the camera that was in there, and it fit mine, so, yeah. It's like a kaleidoscope really neat. <laughs> I really like it. But it just screws on like this. And here to shoot with it. Just it looks really trippy. Oh that wasn't my last one. Oh I said that. This is my last one. I just got this from my boyfriend for Christmas. It's a Kodak Pony. It's got this really cool leather case on it. You just pop the little button up here. And that's the back. There's just like recommended settings for the film. Shutter speed and stuff. There's the front of the pony. It's got a few different line cranks up here. So if you want to do double exposure you could. You could just trip the shutter back. Yeah, and it's held by that. I haven't used this yet. Um, I did use it for one roll, but I wasn't really uh, sure how to use it, so that roll of film messed up really bad. It was just green and foggy and gross. But hopefully, the next one I shoot will be a lot better. Um, yeah. Those are all my cameras, 35mm. I have a bunch that I can't really use because I don't have a film for them, like the Holga and a bunch of brownies, which are just old vintage cameras I like collecting. But yeah, so if you guys want me to share those, just tell me. I will.